All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a couple of real people out there, just like you and just like me. All right, I'm going to be talking about Eric Clapton and Neil Sean. (laughs) There hasn't been any controversy with Neil Sean for a little while, so there needs to be. All right, that's the way I'm going to frame that. Uh, topic. And uh, here is a T3 Norse, not to be confused with three tenors. Okay. T3 Norse, three guys who can really sing. My buddy Robbie LeBlanc, who's just one of the best. One, one, uh, Robbie, Robbie is kind of like, um, like a Paul Rogers character. He just gets better with age. His voice is perfect for melodic rock. Toby Hitchcock, who could be in sticks. If, you know, they made a phone call or two. By the way, uh, Toby hangs out with Jim Peterick, Pride of Lions. That's Toby Hitchcock. Uh, and then uh, finally, if the, if those two guys uh, weren't enough for you vocally, you got the, the two tenors right there that just bowl everything over. And then you've got the third guy here, which is Kent Hilly. And Kent Hilly, I, I tell you, he might be... Um, really the the biggest voice in melodic rock right now uh with his band perfect plan his solo material um and he shows up here and there on other projects but again um i'd go listen to this uh the album's called naked soul and again uh t3 norse don't have an adult beverage and attempt to um say what this is because you might say something that's not quite right because it's easy to mess up Now, uh, getting to the topic, uh, Neil Sean and Eric Clapton. (laughs) Um, Here's the headline from this little website called Rock Celebrities. Uh, Neil Sean exposes Eric Clapton's disrespect to his wife. Now, um, Neil's wife has been the topic of conversation off and on. Apparently, uh, Neil took to Instagram to share a few snippets of his recent performance with Carlos Santana in Las Vegas. However, the rocker also shared with fans that he will no longer be a part of Eric Clapton's Crossroads Festival. Uh, Sean first uh, thanked Carlos. We had a great time hanging out with Carlos and Cindy Santana last night in Vegas. By the way, this is following um, Carlos and his statement not too long ago how He thought there were men and women, and that got him into a lot of trouble. So he had to retract that and then apologize for saying that there are men and women. Just want to throw that in there. Um, Neil then went into detail of why he had to back out of the festival. The guitarist revealed the disrespect he was shown by Clapton's team towards his wife. I'm just reporting the story, folks. It's too bad that things didn't work out. I've now bailed on... EC Crossroads Festival. I was initially invited by Carlos to play with him. I went to Vegas and rehearsed and played live Wednesday in preparation for the festival. Then Carlos manager Michael V told me the next day that Eric's people made a rule that my wife could not be backstage with me and would have to go into the audience. Okay. The rocker added that he would not be making an exception for the festival by not bringing his wife backstage. He expressed this after she was assaulted by a Live Nation security guard and basically targeted, I would never subject her to be harmed again, ever. Uh, She's been by my side for every single show for 15 years, uh, so I'm regrettably not going. Sean also pointed out that he's done everything to be part of the festival by saying, The second time I've been bleeped to see Eric since uh, he last played in L.A. at my ex-manager's palace, the Forum, or place rather, sorry, could be a palace, Uh, we would have been honored and happy to donate my time as well as an instrument to donate an auction off. Uh, Just know I tried, Eric. So he's saying he tried and it failed. Um... So anyway, that's um, that's the scoop there. And uh, Neil Sean wasn't in the news for a while. See, I have this theory with Neil, and uh, he may disagree with me, but 
I think there's a strategy to keep his name out there. And it's too bad that he wouldn't appear. Of course, this is a really good cause, the Crossroads Festival. It's a really good cause. And I, I guess, you know, your wife is with you and you're not ready not to have your wife with you. Um, I mean, maybe there was a compromise where she could have security with her uh, in the audience. So I again, this this to me seems a, a, a little stubborn. That's I'm trying to be gentle here. It seems a little bit stubborn. Now, you know, I've got fans on both sides of this issue. Some that think uh, that this is ridiculous and other people that say, hey, he's Neil Sean. He can he can do what he wants. And I kind of agree with both of those things. I, I don't want to weigh in as um, just taking one side because I've seen things on both sides of this and I try to be fair. Um, nobody's paying me to say anything just in case because I get accused of, oh, you're on the take and that's why you're siding with Neil or you know, you're on the take so you're siding with you know somebody else in the story. Jonathan Cain, if he was in this, which he's not. But this generates publicity. And uh, even though it, it's, it's a controversy that will die down very quickly because people are more interested in seeing Eric Clapton. Sorry, Neil. Uh, they just are. Um, Eric is toward the end of his career. I think he would tell you that. And um, this is for a very important cause and it's full steam ahead. And uh, there's quite a guest list already here, so I'm thinking a lot of people won't give this a second thought. And if it were me, I'd find a way to make this work. That's, and I would tell my wife, look, this is what I would say, look, I'm laying the law down, honey. This is, this is what I'm gonna do, and I'd like you to be a part of this, and this is how we're gonna go about this. Um, Neil Sean could hire private security and I'm thinking they would probably be okay with that. Why wouldn't they be okay with that? I don't know. Um, it's the backstage issue. And from what I understand, this is something that um, Neil has persisted on for quite some time with regards to his wife. So in any event, it's too bad. Um, Neil's a great guitarist. Uh, Carlos, obviously, still going to be there. And Eric Clapton has a large uh, group of people who are going to be at Crossroads. And that's coming up, I think, in like 10 days or so. Um, and the concerts uh, thus far, the American concerts, this short little tour that Eric is doing, uh, the reviews have been really good. Even the poorly written reviews where uh, the writer is more concerned about his creative writing skills or somehow inserting another issue into it, talking about whether Eric has had his boosters or not, which the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever read. But here we are in 2023, and you can't expect a lot from uh, you know the creative writing of those uh, who probably are maybe a little too young to understand everything when it comes to Clapton. But I give them credit for trying, because Wikipedia... You know, you can read Wikipedia and get the cliff notes there. Anyway, um, before I get off this uh, wonderful topic, uh, the T3 Nors, Naked Soul, um, check this out. I just didn't expect this to keep happening uh, in this way when it comes to Neil and, and his wife. Um, I thought that that stuff was was over with, but here we go again, right? Um you know, I'm sure people have strong opinions and they can um, state those opinions in all those uh, Journey junkie chat rooms and so forth. Um, Journey will be back next year. That's what I'm told. And it's going to be a big deal. So buckle up if you're a Journey fan for next year. Uh, for now, you might want to get uh, tickets uh, to see Eric uh, because, again, it is a good cause. And uh, I don't know how many more United States trips uh eric is going to make so that's an important factor when um purchasing tickets to go see a living legend i believe the greatest living guitarist uh in the world right now is the greatest uh 
the other day, the reviewer said he was the GOAT. And uh, I don't know what Neil Sean thinks, but I think uh, Eric is the GOAT. And uh, Neil is on that list of great guitar players, and so is Carlos. Um, but man, uh, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, probably, for a lot of folks. And if it's on your bucket list, uh, go and do it. I'm not sure if the tickets are all sold out, but I would uh, at least make an effort. Anyway, folks, uh, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, okay? I need uh, subscribers. And if you want to support the channel via Patreon, um, as the future looks more independent, uh, if I can get to a place where I'm not worried about where this channel will be, then um, that will make life a lot better for both me and you because, you know, if I start saying stuff that gets me in trouble, then the videos will get blocked or banned uh, and it's or shadow banned, which I think they're already shadow banned. So again, you have to have a game plan and uh, you are my game plan. So I appreciate everybody. Thanks again. God bless. And uh, of course, I'll see you soon.